Hello, welcome back. So in this second part of my presentation about deduce, I'm going to show you how to upload the transcript into the deduce software and also show you how to create variables, demographic variables, and also link participant demographic characteristics to the transcript that was uploaded, right? So these are the things that I'm going to show you. Um, so that you understand how to upload and also create demographic variables and link the information, demographic information to participant transcript. So let me share my screen. And you, as you can see here, this is the software. Uh, when you go to the homepage, this is what I showed you previously. And another, the, another tab that I did not show is the project tab. So when you go to the project, you you will see the all the projects that you have. You can click on load to open the project, right? So let's say I want to open this project. I click on load and then it opened the project for me. If you want to create a new project, you go to the project tab again and then you click on create project, right? Here you give the name to the project. So I can say that project a, right? You give any name that you want and you can give a description. It's not required, but you could give it if you want to. Then you can um, click on submit, right? So that will create a project for you. It shows here that in a fresh uh, page with no data here, everything is zero here. Or, uh, um, the only thing that is and there's a number here is one because the or I have opened the software, right? So that's the user, that's me. So the first step that you have to take is to upload a uh, transcript. And before you upload your transcript, you have to clean your transcript. Uh, let me open my transcript for you to see. So as you can see here, these are my transcripts. There are five participants and P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, right? You have to clean your data take out all the identifiable information. Their names should be taken out and you can give them some IDs. So my ID will be P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. There are five participants and or each participant has their own transcript or document. So when I, when it, so you can see that we, I have their demographic information here and I have their responses to the questions that I have for them. So, and I said here, I said participant P1, you see that the data is very clean for the analysis, right? So that's what you have to do. Clean your data first before you upload them to deduce system. So let me close it. If you want to import, you click on import here. And then you click on import test because they are a Word document. I select, you can import individually, like you import this one, you click on open and import, or you can import all. You can click on the first participant and then press on shift and click on the last participant so that you can select all of the transcript, right? And then click on open. So yes, so as you can see here, I have five transcripts, all of them have been uploaded, right? So the next step that you have to think about is creating the demographic variables and then connecting the demographic information to the transcript that you have. So what do you have to do? You go to descriptors, right? When you think about descriptors, think about participants, right? For descriptor sets, you are labeling the data set that is related to the demographics. So you click on that and you give it any, any name that you want. For me, I will just type participant demo graphics, right? And then I click on submit, right? So the next one is to go to set fields, right? And click on the plus sign. Here you are going to list all the de demographic variables that you have. So in my, um, let me open this one for you to see the demographic variables that I'm interested in. So this table gives me, um, I have participant IDs. I have a, a participant ID, their age, gender, year of experience, and also ethnicity. So I want to 
bring the variable called participant ID there, the variable called age, gender, years of experience, and ethnicity. I have to create variables for them, right? So the first one is participant ID, right? And you can give a description, but it's not required here. You 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 check or you select test. Why do you have to select it? Because you're going to type in the, their IDs, right? You can click on submit, right? And then we go to the next, you click on plus again. The next variable is the age. As you can see here, they give us their, um, the, uh, their actual age. So in this case, I'm going to type, I'm going to select numbers under field type. If the variable is a continuous variable, you choose numbers, right? If the variable you have to type in something, you choose the text. If you if it's about date and time, you choose that. If it's option list, this means that it's a categorical variable, you choose options and list. So let's choose the number and then click on submit. The next variable is gender. So we have only two groups under the gender and we have to select option list and type here male and click on add this one you are typing the categories that you have female and click on add and then when you finish you click on submit if you change your mind you can take it out and then put that in from any information there you can also rename it if you want to if you change your mind. you can also bring it up or down i finished so i click on submit and then the next one is the years of experience. So I click on the plus sign and I type years of experience, right? And then um, it's continuous variable because they give uh, me the specific, the specific years of experience, right? So I just going to put the numbers there. So I click on submit. And then I go to the next one, which is the ethnicity, right? Ethnicity. I have three options here. So I click on option list and type. Right. And then I click on add, and then I click on submit because I have, have only three groups under ethnicity. So that's what I have. So I have all the variables here. So the next one is the descriptors in set. So this one, you are going to create cases for each of the participants, right? So when you see descriptors, you are thinking about participants. So each participant information will be here. So how do you do that? You click on this plus sign here, and then you can indicate, so we are focused on the first participant, so the P1, you type in, and then you indicate the age, the first participant age is 37. Uh, this, um, the person is female, and then the work experience is 12, and the person is African-American, and then click on submit. So you can see that the, this one is the first participant information will be here, P1, 30, uh, uh, 37, female, 12 years of experience and African-American. So you do, do the same thing for the rest, the second participant, P2, um, 55, um, male, and then we have 25 years of experience and the person is Caucasian and then you click on submit. So you do the same thing for the rest. So P3, so if you have 10 participants, you're going to do 10 cases or 10 participant information, right? So you do the, the person is 65, the person is female, the person is 30, 
he has 30 years of experience and then the person is Asian American. And then I click on, yes. So you can see here that I have all my five participants here. The th another thing that you have to think about is now the information is not connected to their transcript yet. So you have to link their demographic to their transcript. How do you do that? You can just click on here. So um, I always want to start um, with participant one. So P1 here, I click on it and look for P1 information and then click on link. And the system will link that to P1. And then when you finish, you close it, you go to P2. Um, and then you click on that and click on P2 document to link. And then you close it. So, so you see that when I link it, it indicates one, right? So there's a one document link to this participant. Sometimes you may have maybe a couple of documents, maybe transcript and maybe uh, a document or um, like um, a photo or any kind of artifact that you have. So if that's the case, you just click on it and then connect all the necessary documents to that participant. So I go to participant three, I, I click on that. It takes me to this page. I click on three to link. I go to participant four. I do the same thing, look for the document for participant four. I click on it to link. I go to participant five and I do the same thing. Right, so now I have all the document connected to demographic information. If, if we pull this, uh, we open the column a little bit, you can see memo. So if you want to write memo, right? Or if you want to connect this to a, an existing memo, you could do that. You click on it and look for the memo to connect, right? So that's what you're going to do. Now we have uploaded, when you go here, you click on this part, uh, you click on um, home, we have all the participant transcript here we have created demographic information and link it to participant transcript, right? We don't have anything here because we, aren't, we haven't created code yet, right? Uh, next video is to show you how to code, right? Using the deals. Now we have been able to upload all the document that we have to upload. We have been able to create the uh, demographic information and connect the demographic information to their respective document, right? So the next video is all about coding. How do you do the coding using the deals? Thank you.